You look pretty tough. Please give this to Miss Gardenia. Okay. Uh, in this episode, we're pretty much an errand boy. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> Hello everyone, X Falcon here and welcome back to another episode of my Halloween special and we're still in that hack infection and it's this is part 6 I think and so yeah last uh, just a short recap last episode we pretty much just gained access to the next server which is the Theta server and that is the um, Highland city of Dunley Rig and yeah, we've seen the Grunties for the first time and all that. We've also... Uh, we also went to some fields related to that server. And so, yeah, anyway, I'll be dedicating this episode to side quests. Side quests because uh, we currently have three of them. One is another Let's Play tag with a goblin. Um, another one is uh, getting another weapon for a character which is named Sanjuro. So I'm gonna assume this is going to be similar to, um, you know, to what we did with Natsume. And lastly is um, uh, related to the one that we saw on the boards, which is about this um, Miss Gardenia's fans club. And yeah, maybe we'll get to see this Gardenia as well. And yeah, anyway, let's go start. I'll be going first with the um, let's play tag side quests. So yeah, it's good that we're in Delta server. Oh, a cutscene. Okay. Uh, are you quite sure that I may take this item? Okay, what's happening here? It's all yours. Woohoo! Then I shall use it now. What did Mia give um, Piros? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if happened? If you want the cure, you've got to look for it at Delta, Putrid Hot-Blooded Scaffold. Okay, I'm, I'm assuming that's going to be our next story objective, but yeah, you can wait, Piros. Hey, hey! What did you get? And yeah, what exactly did that do, <laughs> aside from that color? Magic Love Potion. At any rate, let's head to Delta Putrid Hot Blooded Scaffold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that was weird. Anyway, I'll you know, I'll take care of you, Piros, in the next episode. So I'll go first with the um, what do you call this? The let's play um tag. Anyway, let's go to this one. Oh, it's a snowfield this time. With me is not a game anymore. Okay, I'm gonna be using another speed charm as usual. <laughs> And it's quite fast. I'm gonna be using some other stuff as well. Physical accuracy sounds nice. Yeah, that's good for now. I'll just go do a staccato and you'll die. Quick and easy. Last couple of hits. Whoops, whoops, whoops. The camera is messing with me. Where are you? Where are you? There we go. There we go. <laughs> hey, I give up. Looks like my info wasn't much use in a game of tag. That was quick and very easy. Anyway, let's look at that goblin go gloves. Another rare item, and it's still a level six item. So I'm gonna assume the things that we get from these items are pretty much the skills, because honestly, that. Um, skill stats sucks or you know defense one seriously and I'm not 
quite familiar with all those um, others icons. Um, there's a 20 points. There's 20 points on that uh, human looking icon with green borders. I don't know what exactly that means. Anyway, I guess that's that. I'll just go pick up some grunty food in this field as well as some symbols for the Ryu books. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. And so yeah, I'm done. Pretty much done with the Let's Play tag. That's very quick. Anyway, my next target now is the one with Sanjuro, I guess. So I need to invite party members now. I'll go with... Uh, let's look at their levels first. 14, 14, 15, 12, 15, 14. I guess I'll go with Natsume since she's the lowest level of the bunch. We need the, to level her, level her up a bit to make things a bit balanced. Thank you for choosing me. I will do my best. And as for the other one, um, Elk is uh, has a higher level than Mistral, so I guess I'll go with Mistral. And at the same time, you know, let's balance out our two. Um, wave masters here because uh, honestly, I'm seeing Elk as more of a uh, of an offensive wave master. His uh, magic spells are quite uh, <laughs> uh, huge <laughs> when it comes to damage dealing. And as for Mistrals, she's more of a support to me, I guess. Uh, support wave master, and we have Mat Natsume with us as well, so we have two damage dealer here being Kite and Natsume and Mistral can be a good support wave master so I'll go with that. Alrighty, I'm coming. And so yeah let's go. Uh, oh yeah before that I'll go restock and see my items for a bit and you know maybe I could give some items to Natsume as well for her um, armor and all that but she already has a good weapon. The uh, I'll let you guys see. You rem you remember that she wanted the spiral edge, and she has it equipped, and it's quite a good weapon. Um, it has four attack, five accuracy, two magic attack, two uh, magical accuracy, and at the same time, it has three skills. Here we go: Tiger Claw, Staccato, and Gale of Swords, which is, you know, one of them is a level two skill, which is quite convenient for a low level weapon and for the other one we have a critical hit possible chance of inflicting double damage so that's quite big especially for a twin blade since twin blades attack fast and so higher chance of you know having that activate that effect activate anyway I'll go look around and see for you know restock my items and my equips and I'll see you guys in a bit Anyway, guys, I'm back and I'll show you what I gave what I gave to um, Natsume and Mistral. As for Natsume, she still has her spiral edge, and I also gave her a guard cap, a fire drake mail, and a silver gloves. Guard cap is pretty much the same as her old head headgear, um, except it has higher defensive stats, and it still has the rep skill. And Fire Drake Mail, which is the same as the one I'm using on Kite. Silver Gloves, which is just pretty much a a um, gloves item with higher defensive stats. And Snow Panther, which is, of course, another better um, equipment uh, stats, stats wise. And at the same time, it has a skill that increases the target's defense, which can help us more or less in the future. Anyway, as for Mistral, I gave her a Basho wand, which has two skills, which is an Earth one, Gandon, and a Fire one, which is Vak Cruz. Vak Cruz, and I also gave her a Winter coat, which is uh, pretty much the same as her old um, body gear, except it has higher defensive stats and it still has the same exact skill, which is Ruizot, a Water type spell. Anyway, I think we're pretty much uh, ready now, so let's head out. Yeah, I like to, you know, prepare whenever I go to dungeons because um, this game can be quite unforgiving. As you can see in some of the videos, 
some enemies can pretty much one hit you if they want and so yeah utmost preparation is uh, very much needed and yeah I'd, at the same time I don't want to waste time um, you know going back and forth with the same quest because uh, I had game overs a few times because I was not prepared anyway we're now here in what's the name of the area again hideous destroyers far thunder it's a level 12 area so I guess we're all pretty much leveled for it but I'll still be clearing the field as usual as usual so yeah I'll be seeing you guys again in a bit as you have seen in my recent videos I've been showing you some glimpse of the fighting that I am doing just so you know you have an idea uh, what I do outside boss fights because usually the the battles that you usually see are from boss fights only and so yeah I sneak in some you know normal fights as well so as to make things more you know to have more variety anyway yeah I'll be seeing you guys in a bit after I clear off this um, field uh, there's there isn't much portals I think compared to the others that I've encountered so let's go And so I'm at the last um, field portal. Yep, there you go. All field portals open. And so a short um, status report. Um, oh, should I say this? I think Natsume leveled up. I think, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure, but I saw someone level up earlier. So yeah. I'll see in a bit after this who actually leveled up anyway, I gotta heal I'm gonna die so anyone heal me up please there we go anyway I'll open up this chest fortune wire fortune wire here we go Mountain boots, more items for sale, assassin, a very outdated item. Anyway, yeah, let's see at our status. Mistral is 15. Oh, so she leveled up. And Natsume as well. But Kite still hasn't. I guess that's understandable. Anyway, let's go inside the dungeon now. Maybe we'll meet Sanjuro the same way we met you know, Natsume. Came here on a tip from the BBS, and now look at me. Hey, his voice actor sounds familiar, honestly. I don't know where, but he sounds familiar. All of these treasure boxes are full of junk. This ain't funny. Hate to say this, but if you're looking for a sword as well, it's a waste of time. And so let's talk to him. If you get the Kotetsu sword, give it to me, will ya? Okay, sure, why not? I guess it is pretty much the same as um you know the one with Natsume. And so we'll do just that. We'll get the weapon and we'll give it to Kote um to uh Sanjuro and hopefully he'll join us as well. I think He's a blade master. The first blade master that I'm going to have. Or not. I'm not sure if he's even a blade master. I think this is a heavy blade. Since he's holding it with two hands. Anyway, uh, let's go. I'll see you guys in a bit. And so yeah, that was quick. We're already in the end of first floor. It was quite small. Anyway, let's go to the second floor. Or wait, what? 
Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> I was facing the wrong way. Anyway, there we go. Second floor. And so, I'll see you guys again in a bit. In a bit. <laughs> what the hell? This, these floors are so small. I'm already at the end of second floor as well. I didn't even meet any enemies here because the only magic portal I encountered here contained a chest. So yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if I should be happy about that. Anyway, let's go. And so I pretty much opened up all magic portals in this one. That was very quick, honestly. I thought this is going to be a bigger dungeon. But I'm not complaining. And so yeah, here we go. We have the god statue here. I'm gonna assume the Kotetsu sword is here. There we go. Whoops, I have more than 40 different items again. What should I throw away? Uh damn it. Leaf blight, nope. As for Okay, I can go throw away. Um, what should I throw away? Damn it! I forgot to store some more items at the uh, at the storage and PC. Anyway, what should I throw away? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I storm is level one only, and I only have two copies of it, so might as well throw it away. Kotetsu sword, rainbow card. What should I throw away this time? I guess I'll go to throw away this. And another rainbow card. Okay, that's cool. Sanjuro was looking for this. Okay, let's go give it to him. Finally. You found the Kotetsu sword! Say, why don't you leave it with me? Yeah, these <laughs> players are quite demanding. But yeah, of course, since we're kind people, we'll give it to you. Thanks. Call me whenever you need me. And there we go. This is for you. Take it. A new member. And ooh, what's this? Tolerance book. Let's go look at it in a bit. And so we're back again in town. That was pretty quick. And yeah, I'll go check around again for items and stuff and at the same time selling some loot. And oh, and before that, I'll, uh, let's see what this tolerance book is all about. Here we go. F physical defense parameter plus one. Ooh, okay. So it's pretty much a stat book, I guess, that gives, you know, whatever stat it gives. And so, yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit again. <laughs> Yeah, this is going to be quick since I didn't use much items anyway. And I just need to sell some items to make space for others. Anyway. And so, yeah, I'm back. Um, I didn't get any new equipment is except for one, which is for Kite. I got him an Ice Hunter cap, which is way better than his guard cap here. And it still has the same rep skill. So yeah, I can still go do heals if we ever need to do so. Anyway, that's that and let's go to our next objective which is um, the one related to Miss Cardinia's um, fan club which is located at Soft uh, Theta, Soft Solitary, Tripancy. And so yeah, let's go there. About to level level 14, we're all pretty much um, leveled for that place so that's good. Anyway, let's go. And so, yeah, um, there are some places like this um, in, you know, in the world. Um, take note, guys, that this isn't a dungeon. We're still on a field, a field that's um, separated into blocks, which is similar to dungeons. And yeah, there are some cases that the places are going to be like this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And as usual, of course, I'll be clearing off the field regardless of what it looks like or its layout. So yeah, I just wanted to inform you guys in case you were wondering why we 
um, teleported into a dungeon which is not the case this is still a field okay so yeah anyway that's that I'll see you in a bit I'll just be clearing off the field and so yeah guys surprisingly there were only two field portals and so it was quick to clear out and so there's the entrance to the dungeon so let's go let's see what awaits us here you look pretty tough please give this to miss gardenia okay uh in this episode we're pretty much an errand boy okay i know i know <laughs> No, I don't want it. It's not for you. Please be careful with it. And don't you dare throw it... <laughs> Damn it. We're... Hurry. We're pretty much uh, forced into doing things. Whatever. Anyway, I won't talk to you guys. So let's go and find this um, gardenia person. Oh, so this is supposed to be Gardenia? You seem to have no manners. And she's a long arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you Miss Gardenia? Yes, I am. What do you want? Someone asked me to give this letter to you. Someone? I guess she's a fan of yours. No, thank you. uh-huh okay i'm gonna assume she doesn't like fans or maybe she doesn't even get why she has fans i don't know anyway let's go chase after her we're pretty much forced to do this anyway leave me alone but i promised uh no you didn't <laughs> you were just forced to do it they must have forced this upon you yep exactly well, you could say that. Then it's not really a promise. Forget about it. And off she goes again. Ah, damn it. Just let this end. I hope there's a god statue at the end at least. Suit yourself. Ah, damn it. Just get it uh get the letter or whatever just receive it ah here we go again oh okay finally we are in the god statue but i haven't fully explored the area yet although i've also opened up all dungeon portals so i'm gonna assume um, Gardenia is uh, is in that last place that we haven't visited yet. Anyway, I'll go pick this up. Flare guard, yellow candy, yellow candy. Okay, what's flare guard? Heavy leg armor. Okay, rip sync. Okay, I guess I'll get, I can give that to maybe Piros or Black Rose. Anyway, I'll be going to that one last place we haven't visited yet. But for that, I'll go heal up just in case. Oh, so she's fighting a monster. Let's go. Help her. <laughs> this is pretty much quick. Just a simple guardian enemy. As you can see. <laughs> Quick and easy. You are surprisingly strong. Very well. I will accept it under two conditions. One, you will join my party when I summon you. And second, do not call me Miss. That is all. And yeah, we've pretty much become became a uh, permanent errand boy for gardenia if you ever accept this but knowing kite he will definitely accept to this yep all right then i'll be using an item to escape 
since those girls are probably waiting for me on B1. But at least we have a long arm party member now, so that's useful, more variety in, you know, in class choices and in party member choices. And there she goes. Was Miss Gardenia okay? You did give her the letter, right? What? She used an item to get back? You guys, we're off to Root Town! Right on! <laughs> uh, fangirls gonna fangirls. Fangirls gonna fan, I mean, or whatever. <laughs> Uh, I don't relate, so whatever. Anyway, I guess that's that for now. Um, that's all there is for our side quests. The only one left is the one rela uh, related to Piros, and I'm gonna assume that's a story objective. But before I end this episode, as usual, we'll be checking our emails and, um, you know, the board. But yeah, anyway, before that, I will go see our progress in the real book. Okay, let's go with book one. Over 20 areas. Movie 7, okay. I guess that's pretty much that for now. Book two. 300 magic portals opened. Okay, new stuff again. Over 10 fields. 10 fields cleared of all magic portals. Okay. Oh, this should be 10 as well. I think I forgot another one. That I haven't cleared out, which is probably one of those uh, previous story dungeons that we've been that we've been to. So I'll go look into that soon. As for book tree, over ten trades, movie eight, yeah, limit for both of them, which is nice. We've pretty much exceeded the uh, limit for book three in general, so that's good. Anyway, book 4, nothing, book 5, over 20,000 GP in gifts, okay, image 8, okay, next, book 6, over 200 treasure boxes open, and yeah, I've, I've already exceeded this one as well, the only one left is God Statue Treasure open. And book 7, over 20 symbols activated, movie 9, okay. We haven't encountered uh, much Monsieurs and Grandpas yet. And yeah, in case you guys are wondering, Grandpas are pretty much the same as Monsieurs. The, different is, the difference is that uh, they're only found in the Theta server. Monsieurs are exclusive in the Delta server and Grandpas in the Theta server. So yeah, that's pretty much their only difference. But they pretty much uh, have the same function, if I remember correctly. Anyway, last book. Book 8. Yep, nothing, of course. We'll be raising Grunties uh, in the future, so... Yeah, you you wait for, the, for that, guys. <laughs> anyway, I have more than... Uh, I've already exceeded the limit for book 8, so... But the kinds of um, grunty food that I have, I'm still missing two of them, okay. And so yeah, that's that. Before I go log out and see our emails and all that, I'll be, you know, selling the loots that I got and fix up, fixing up my inventory and all that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And so yeah, I'm back. Let's go look at our board, if there's anything new. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, there's nothing new here. As for the mail, yep, we have a new one, which is with Natsume and Mistral. Let's go with Mistral first. Uh, but I mess up a lot too. Kite, do you buy groceries? Okay, I guess I'll go ask her, uh, reply to that as well. I guess I'll go with sometimes, I mean, I'm gonna assume Kite is that kind of person, you know, that uh, as you can see, he always uh, accepts errands and all that, so I'm gonna assume he's doing the groceries as well in real life. I get dragged to carry stuff, I was so surprised to find out things I eat are so expensive. Okay. As for Natsume, bio. 
Real name Natsume Oguro, 9th grade, 15 years old. I'm a librarian at the school. At the school. I started the game to change myself. I'll probably cause lots of trouble, but thanks for having me on your team. Okay, I guess she's quite formal. And she's more or less the same age as Kite. May well, maybe one year older, since Kite is on the 8th grade. So he can be 14 or 15 years old. So yeah, they're quite, you know, in the same age group. So I'm, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm hoping that they're gonna get along. Anyway, I'm gonna... Is there a reply? Okay. I'm in 8th grade, or where do you live? Hmm. I guess we'll just, you know, inform her as well of our... Our... Uh, educational attainment? <laughs> I don't know how to call it. Since she mentioned she's in ninth grade, might as well mention that we're also in 8th grade. You're a year older than me. I only started playing this game recently too. Isn't It's been fun. Uh, I'm not sure how you're having fun despite your friend Orca falling into a coma while playing the game. But hey, you know, I can't blame you. Video games are life. <laughs> Anyway, I guess that's that for this video. Um, we'll be continuing with the story stuff in the next episode, which is, um, you know, uh, about the cure for Piro's um, so-called love potion. Anyway, that's that for now. If you like the video, do like it, comment for your comments, suggestions, criticisms, or whatever, and hopefully you subscribe as well. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.